Assalamualaikum, my name is Anisha Fawadi and my name is Samira Atilia and we are from JBA 11448A So recently we noticed that a lot of people actually interested in investment but they don't have the confidence to invest because they lack of knowledge about how the trading cycle works So today we will explain to you how trading cycle works Okay, so first of all, before you guys start to trade, you guys need to open two types of account. The first one is trading account and another one is CDS account. Actually, trading account is just a temporary account before you guys move to CDS account. So let's say you guys open a trading account under Maybank and then after that Maybank will register your name to CDS account. And then after your CDS account have been activated, so you are officially, officially to trade. But you guys don't need to worry if you don't know how to trade or how to control your CDS account because all of you can pay a pit dealer or reminder to act on behalf of you. Okay, so let's say I'm the paid dealer. And I'm the investor, I will go directly to her and tell to her which stock that I want with the exact amount and what price that I want to purchase. After that, I will update her CDS account with the transaction that she ordered to me. Okay, so after I updated her CDS account with the transaction that she wants, Actually, it will automatically will be key in into a system that called WinScore. Okay, so after the data have been key in in the system that we call WinScore, actually the data will be forward again to a system that we call Score. Okay, this system is actually handled by Bursa. And here, there will be a process of bid and offer to determine the price based on the demand and the supply at that time and the process will keep continue until we meet the process that we call price matching after that the price of stock will be confirmed so after the price match and the confirmation in score system actually the data will be transferred back into our win score system and here, the trading clerk in Winsco system will print out the trade confirmation for the investor. After that, the trading clerk will inform to the investor about the match price and ask them an approval. If they give an approval, the transaction will be sent into the contract section. Okay, after all the process, finally, we have come to the final process, which is the contract session. Okay, contract session will print out a contract note for investor. On the contract note, they will mention about your transaction, your brokerage fee, and your stamp duty. After that, finally, you own the stock. Okay, so I hope this little information will help you guys to gain confidence about trading and to change your perception about trading is hard. So yeah, happy, happy trading! trading. Thank, Thank you! you.